Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Hopefully the microphone is working. Um, <laughs> today is uh, Collection Mania Monday and of course we've got another set of pencils in the collection. This is the Star Joy 120 uh, set of colored pencils. They're an oil-based pencil and they're they're a very lovely pencil. I actually really enjoy them. Um, I did have the original Star Joys, uh, which is also an oil-based pencil, but they are a 72 count uh, that come in a wrap. I have since given those away because I got these ones. Now they are completely different. Um, they're a little bit harder and um, you know a little bit crumblier and not as much color lay down as these are. Um, another interesting bit of news with the Star Joy colored pencils is sometime next month um, Color My World Lori uh, will be actually um, has gotten together with the person that owns or runs or, or sets up uh, so does stuff with Star Joy I can't completely say exactly who that was she said his name a few times and for some reason I can't remember it um, but anyway, she has gotten together with the Starjoy company and has helped them create a special uh, set of Starjoy pencils specifically designed for the colorist in mind. So I think that's fantastic. And of course, once those are released, I will probably end up with a set of them because yeah I can't I can't resist a new set of pencils <laughs> especially one created specifically for colorists come on now um, you know so kudos to her uh, for for putting that effort and that uh, amount of work into working with a company and getting um, the colors all set up and wonderful things like that of course I will hopefully be purchasing them at some point wonderful set of pencils. Um, I can't say enough about the Star Joy pencils um, that haven't already been said a billion times over. <laughs> um, I haven't had them for, well I guess I've had them for almost a year now. Um, let's take a look at the pencils themselves. So they start off here with the gold and silver. They are numbered and named which is great. So they've got the color name, the color number, and then the Star Joy name. Um, I think that's wonderful. They are in fairly close to fa uh, color family order. Well, they are in color family order. They, they do a really good job of setting them up in color family order. Um, they've got the reds first into the oranges and the light browns into the peachy tone, into our yellows, and then into our greens. And then we have our greens into our blues. Arg. I'm gonna turn the page here. <laughs> and then into from our blues into our purples, and then the pinks, and then some deeper reds. And this is where it goes a little wonky for me. I would rather have all the reds and pinks together than separated between red, orange red and pink red, if that makes sense. Uh, the deeper reds are down here with the pinks and the um, light skin tones and that sort of thing. Uh, peachy colors, like this one is called Flesh and this one is called uh, Skin Yellow, stuff like that. And then into our deeper brown colors and of course our grays and black colors there. And those are not Star Joys. <laughs> so it has a really good selection of grays, which is awesome. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of these uh, lower 
priced sets. I won't say lower quality because these are actually not a lower quality pencil as far as I'm concerned. Um, much definitely a lower price pencil when I bought them. They are a bit higher now, but of course you can always catch them on sale. Um, they're always on sale on Amazon. So for the money, definitely a really nice set of pencils. Let's take a look at the swatch chart here. I will be redoing this swatch chart on my own swatch um, after the video is done because this is not my swatch chart. <laughs> but it is uh, one of the swatch books that I, I purchased um, from, oh, brain isn't working now. I just looked at them this morning too. So just give me a second and see if I can find the swatch book. Of course you're attached to me so I have gone back to the microphone on the headset which does seem to pick up a better quality of sound however it tethers me to the desk. So <laughs> uh, let's see if I can reach over there. Like I said, this does tie me to the desk quite quite a bit. So, and of course, I'm all tangled up and oy vey. All right, uh, let's see. So those swatch books are done by. right here <laughs> so I have two of uh, two or three of her swatch books um, and she's a wonderful wonderful um, lady oh, yeah. sorry I'm trying to get back to my desk and of course moving like that has um, pulled everything away from my desk. <laughs> so these are the two swatch books that I have of hers. Um, and I also have another one which is bigger. Uh, it's called the Big Swatch Book. And they're, they're quite nice. This is from the Big Swatch Book because when I reviewed this swatch book, I let her know that, uh, you know, there's not really enough um, on the page great swatch book really good paper and everything in these swatch books so they are done by Patty Duffy um, they're copywritten by Patty Duffy and you know they're they're really nice especially for those smaller sets another one that I really enjoy of Patty's is the grayscale swatch book um, it is fantastic especially if you're um, coloring a lot of grayscale. You know, you can go through and you can, like this one here is my Artezas, um, you can go through and see how your pencils are going to look on that grayscale, which is cool, which is really cool. So if you do a lot of grayscale and you want a fairly good swatch book, it, it is, um, a nice smooth paper. It's, it's not extremely thick, of course, but it is a, a, a smoother paper than um, what I would say the, the typical Amazon printed books are on. But I don't know if that's a choice or if that is something that they've changed to or whatnot, but they're, they're very, very, very nice swatch books. And you know, of course, even though I, I really enjoy her swatch books, um, I do find that they're a little bit smaller than I want because I want to be able to put everything on one page. And for a 120 set, it's taken a pa uh, two and a half pages to do this swatch chart. So I want to put them all on one page because it just makes things easier for me. I'm going to switch you over to the close-up camera here. Check and make sure that my mic is on. Okay. <laughs> just clued in to me that my mic might not even be on. Um, so it starts off with gold and silver. 
Let's tip you down here a little bit so you can see. Um, into your vermilions, your scarlet reds, your red ochre, Venetian reds, then into your terracotta colors and oranges, and then into your yellow ochre, yellow ochre light, terracotta light. So I would classify those as um, at very light browns. And then it goes into your Naples yellow, uh, into your your deeper yellows and light yellows. Um, for some reason they've got the white in the middle there. I'm not quite sure why. But, you know, every once in a while you get a weirdo. <laughs> but other than that, they've got it set up quite nicely. They've got green gold, uh, leaf green, and then our greens. And I would... Um, and I hope when they when they redo this set that they move a few of these around so that they're not jumbled together like this light green and this light green and this light green and this light you know I would prefer them to all be um, in stagger in proper order not so staggered but it does have a huge huge selection of greens like that's a really really large amount of green and then we go into our emerald greens and our, and our aquatic greens um, into our blues and once again it has a really good selection of blues as well and then we go into our purples our, our lavenders cornflowers that sort of thing and then into our red violets and our deeper purples into our pinks. Really good selection of pink, uh, peach purple, magenta. I think I would probably move up here to purple deep. But other than that, um, you know, a lot of them are very, very lovely colors. Well, all of them are very lovely colors. And the. Um, way that they have them set set up is pretty good as well. So then we go into our flesh deep and flesh light, skin yellow, flesh, um, our, our browns, our deeper browns, and then we go into our grays and of course um, ivory black and burnt umber and that sort of thing. So lots of really good good colors. You know a lot of um, warmer grays I'm not seeing too many really cool grays um, in the light tones, but you know it's definitely something you can still work with. You just use the cool gray deep and just add some um, some white to it, uh, like the cool gray there. You just add some white to it, but you know not a big deal. And the silver works really well for light gray as well. All right, so we are going to color with them. And of course we have our 100 hugs to color. Um, this is the hug a day uh, hashtag of hug a day September. And oh, today is hug a day number 20. And it is ghosties. So we're gonna be coloring some ghosties some apparitions and they've got on mom's bed best bed sheets <laughs> and it says perhaps everything that frightens us is in its deepest essence something helpless that wants our love by Rainier Marie Rilke Rilke yeah and it's a ghosty hug gotta love a ghosty hug Okay, so we're going to get creative with this ghosty hug because, well, it's a ghosty hug. And it's a perfect hug just in itself because it's a ghosty hug. So we're going to actually make the ghosty hug, um, the ghosties basically, to be wearing mom's good sheets. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually add some different colors to them. So I'm going to start with one of them being in blues. So I'm going to take some blue. I need 
and some gray. And I know there's a blue gray here. I think it's this one. Yes. So I need my sharpener because this one's not quite sharp. Let's see, make sure that's the right one. Uh, that's more of a green. So I need this one, I think. Well, that says dark green too. <coughs> Excuse me. But this will work. One moment. I woke up with the sniffles this morning, which of course is due to the moisture in the air and that sort of thing, giving me a bit of congestion, which I don't like. It's actually cold here this morning. Well, cold to me anyway. All right, so I'm trying to make sure that I get the right sheets. <laughs> I'm just doing the shadow areas with this Verte, uh, Terra Verte, which is a gray green kind of color. And when I go over it with the blue, it will, it will work quite well. Now, would a ghost wearing a sheet have a shadow? I assume because the sheet will have the shadow. So I don't think a ghost has a shadow, but the sheet would have the shadow. And you say, how can you tell that it's a ghost? because it has no feet and it's floating above the ground. This one is a perfect one for the Halloween season that's coming up. I hope everyone is ready for that. Now I'm just making sure here that I'm not going too far because I do believe this part Hmm. Yeah, that part is the other ghost sheet by the look of it. Maybe, yes, that's the other ghost. Okay. Make sure that I don't color the wrong ghost thing see because if you follow this up that's the other ghost okay details details <laughs> I'm always trying to get the details right you know and I was listening to a stream uh, um, well, I've heard it on a few different streams now. Um, the the opinion of the the possibility of braggers and and people just wanting to show off and and you know keeping up with the Joneses and that sort of thing. And I've I've had it said to me a few times um, in person um, that maybe my collection is way beyond what uh, any normal person would consider even a collection. And, you know, it's, 
I don't I don't do the videos um, you know just to say oh look what I have um, it's to be informative and to um, say you know sometimes you can go too far with a collection um, but if you enjoy what you're doing and you have fun with what you're doing and you love your collection and you use your collection um, you know it's it's not a horrible thing to to collect I, I get this um, I guess it's it's a, a guilt a shame feeling every once in a while especially when it's said to me um, that sometimes I wonder if I'm just wasting um, hard-earned dollars that that I don't personally make or if it's just me enjoying my collection and enjoying the ability to have my collection you know and when my husband tells me you know it's your collection it's your hobby if you enjoy your hobby then enjoy your hobby don't worry about what other people think of your hobby and that's the point where I've gotten is I'm not not here to, to brag or say you know this is what I have or anything like that I'm here to share my hobby with like-minded people um, who aren't going to judge me because you know my hobby is adult coloring and pencils and markers and other art related products that I get suckered into because they're so pretty <laughs> That's my biggest thing is they're all so pretty. But, you know, I I just wanted to throw that out there because, you know, I have been down on myself a little bit lately, especially when, you know, I am going through and cleaning things up and trying to find places for things and counting how many pencils I actually have where I, I just sit there going, okay, well, maybe maybe it's gotten to a point where it's it's too much. And then I, I start looking at the pencils themselves and they just make me so happy. <laughs> and that's, that's the important thing, I think, is that um, as long as it makes me happy and it doesn't interfere with, you know, paying the mortgage or, you know, making sure there's food in the house that sort of thing, I'm going to continue doing it. You know, it, it's something that I enjoy. And, uh, you know, as long as it's not interrupting with my, you know, being disruptive to my marriage or being disruptive to my children or anything like that, then, you know, as long as it makes me happy, that's all that matters at this point of time. What makes me really happy and what I really, really enjoy is actually being able to share it with all of you. Um, you know, I, I think that's that's another part of this YouTube thing and the channel and everything else that I enjoy a lot is being able to share all of the things I've collected over the years and all of the things that I enjoy uh, with everybody in the community and that just is so much fun for me and it just makes the collection even even more enjoyable because yeah I could collect pencils for forever because I just love pencils actually I love art supplies I love anything that I can use to make things pretty if that makes sense And I, I also have a, an extreme love um, for learning. 
and one of these th one of the things that doing the adult coloring is um, showing me is that there's so much in this world that I don't know and that I would love to know. I would love to know how to paint properly you know and to do watercolors and to do markers and all of that fun stuff in a better way you know and of course watching other youtubers helps me a lot with that and you know watching other youtubers with their collections and how they enjoy them and how they use them is so much fun I just love it I would ha I would hate to have to leave any of it behind and if I did you know it's it's not um, not anything that I would not be able to replace I would grab my books of course like the ones I've already colored and you know maybe a couple of really expensive things that I would really hate to have to replace but and I I would probably cry for days <laughs> because it would break my heart if I if I uh, you know had to leave anything behind where where I knew it was never going to be seen again because yeah it would it would break my heart but you know as long as as long as my my family was safe and my you know kids were safe and my dog was safe and Fred and Wilma were safe as long as all of that was safe then uh, that would be the main thing all of the important things were safe and then you know, I, I'd get over it at some point <laughs> I'd have to start the collection all over again and you know there's just some some pencils in my collection that are are no longer in in production so they they would be lost forever but you know you can't take them all with you so I'm just going over the entire ghost now with the uh, cobalt turquoise I started off with the terra the terra verte um, gray and now I'm just gonna go color the whole thing in with this blue But yeah, that's my rant for today. <laughs> you know, and, and they weren't saying anything, you know, horrible or anything like that. It it just reminded me of other things that, that people have actually said to me in person uh, about my collection and about collecting my collection. And, uh, you know, it, it just reminded me that you know sometimes people just don't appreciate your collection and you know don't understand what what you're saying or what you're doing you know or you know sometimes you just get an air about you and you know if people don't tell you about it then you don't know right I personally um, am always always um, self-conscious is the word that you know especially doing YouTube videos about my collection of am I showing my collection in a light of these are really cool and they're so pretty and I really enjoy them and I hope you guys enjoy enjoy them as well or am I putting out the air of 
this is what I have and look what I have and you don't and that sort of thing and I don't ever want to um, come off that way and if I do I would hope that somebody would say um, yeah that was rude because <laughs> yeah that's rude and that's just definitely not not the way that I, I ever want to portray my collection you know if I if I uh, pull up to the enable in enable station with it with a choo choo train and and you know it's all something that you guys want to take a look at then I'll I'll, I'll uh I'll enlighten as much as possible but you know it, it's definitely not ever meant to be or want to be look what I have and you don't because I know that a lot of people um, I know a lot of people would, would find that very very off-putting and if I do come off that way I would really hope somebody said something <laughs> because that's just not me and I would definitely have to change that right away because that's just definitely not anything that I would want it to be taken as it is exactly what what I'm what I'm saying is the love for the collection and wanting to share that with all of you all right so I'm going to get off my soapbox now <laughs> and I've colored the blue blue the blue ghost and um, yeah so we're going to color this other one and we're going to actually use a little bit of brown uh, dark brown so I'm going to grab this one here I think um, do I want this one or walnut? Yeah, this one. So I'm going to grab some burnt umber. And we're just going to put the burnt umber into the dark areas of the sheet. As you can see with the blue, that green gray has uh, given quite a good contrast for those shadows and areas where there's folds in the sheet. And what we're going to do with this brown is the same thing, but with a deeper pink or with a pink. Now I'm not going to follow these lines yet because those are the wispy lines of ghostly premonitions or ghostly fog. You know, that chill in the air that you get when you feel a ghost nearby. Now, if, it, if they weren't floating above the ground, I would say they were trick-or-treaters in, in sheets, but they're floating above the ground, so <laughs> I think they're, they're classified as proper ghosts when they float above the ground. <laughs> and hopefully I'm still on screen. Keep on forgetting to look up. Alright, and now we're going to take our pink, and I think I want, let's grab our chart. I think I want cherry pink, no, grenadine. I want grenadine, which is, I think, this one. No, oh, that's Bengal Rose. Da -da -da. So, Grenadine's 
over here. It should be this one. Yeah. And then we're just going to go into that brown and blend it into the pink. And of course I'm using a heavier hand when I'm going over top of the brown because I want it to blend into the pink. And then lightening it up as I get into a whiter area. One of these days I will learn how to be a little bit more artistic and be able to put patterns and stuff on things, but I'm not quite there yet. <laughs> I am not a drawing artist at all, but I want to learn how to do it with stamps and things like that. And maybe one of these days I'll learn how to draw, but at this point, I'm not all that great with the drawing. So once again, I'm just using a heavier hand over top of that brown and getting it blended in. pink. And then when I come up into these open areas, just lighten up my hand a little bit. Put a little bit more pressure up here on the top where the light's not hitting. Our pink ghost. <laughs> and of course you can definitely use other colors to, to um, put in those shadows. You can use a deeper color um, and that sort of thing. I find with uh, linens and that sort of thing that uh, sometimes using a de really deep color works quite well. You can also use a gray, of course, but I already did a gray over there, and I wanted it to blend in and become almost a reddish color. And once again, I'm just going deeper and harder over top of the areas that I've put the brown, blending those in to fairly deeply into a deeper pink. Make sure that you have your page behind your page so that anything that is colored on the back side or anything that is inked on the back side does not transfer onto your other picture. I have forgotten a few times and made that mistake. <laughs> and yeah, it only takes an eraser to fix it, but you know, why, why uh, have to take an eraser to fix it if you just avoid the problem altogether? I am so pleased to see so many wonderful people, um, beautiful, beautiful works of art joining in on this hashtag. And of course, I want to say thank you very much to Emily, or not Emily, Tammy, um, Angie, Ashley and Shell Colors for starting this hashtag. It was one of the greatest ideas I'd ever heard. And of course, you know, I have a tendency to, to 
stop listening <laughs> before things are completely sad and ran out well quite literally you know clicked and clicked and clicked quickly um, because somebody said oh and you need this book to color along and it's really cute and I looked at it and it was really cute and I didn't pay attention to the fact that they hadn't started the color along yet so in August when I got the book I thought they had already started and they did not so I started coloring in the book and yeah they hadn't even started yet the color along hadn't started yet and they had picked out certain pictures and I did not know this luckily I hadn't colored any of those pictures yet so I was able to join them uh, in their hashtag and was asked by some followers to create my own hashtag as well for all 100 pictures because now because I was little miss uh, impatient and jumped the gun um, I'm, I'm going to color all 100 pictures because they're just so cute and I'm going to be giving away the book once it's done so that's why I'm trying to make sure I do do the best I can do uh, when I'm coloring it because it's not just for me it's for a friend that I know will enjoy a hug every day so we're going to do 100 hugs every or one hug every day until all 100 hugs are covered and during the month of September we are going to follow along and color the ones that Angie, Ashley and Tammy and Shell Artie have all picked out and uh, yeah this is one of those this is number 20 so there's 10 more to go this month okay so I've got a blue ghost and a pink ghost now we're going to do the area underneath the ghosts and we're going to do that with a bit of gray and fill in that shadow underneath them because they're floating and then we're going to take our white gel pen if maybe <laughs> and this is the thicker one and we're gonna Put in that fog line. Misty, foggy. And there we have it. There is our ghosty ghosts having their their lovely hug which is hug number 20 and I need my pen 
and of course today is mine and my husband's 13th wedding anniversary so a great day for that wonderful his and her ghosty hug <laughs> this is September 20th 2021 the 20th hug for hug a day September and hug number 33 out of 100 so we're going to take a look at the hugs. Uh, so this is number 20 for Hug a Day September. It's a wonderful ghosty hug. Uh, this one here is number 19, and the Hobbit hug. And then we have the Daddy Daughter hug for a number 18. And we have Thor's hug. He's hugging his hammer for number 17. And of course we have our Sultan and his and the princess hug for number 16. And we have the platypus hug. I love the platypus hug. It's so cute. And that is number 15. And then we have Thumbelina and the Robin for number 14. He's so cute. And then we have the Be Belle and Beast from Beauty and the Beast on number 13. And then we have our Knights in Shining Armor. You can see it's all shiny. <laughs> For number 12. And then we have our lovely, wonderful little sapling hug. And then we have the Witch's Hug. Another one perfect for this time of year. So that's number 10. And then we have our Geppetto and Pinocchio hug. And this one says, he's more myself than I am. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. By Emily Bronte. And then we have number seven is Alice and the Rabbit. And then number six we have this wonderful jester hug or little elves whichever you want to call them they look like little jesters and number five we have the wizards and the warlock and warlockess <laughs> the wizards wonderful hugs there and then uh, then number three we have our troll hug I love our troll hug it's so cute and it says I would rather I would always rather be happy than dignified which is fantastic and then number two of our hug a day September hugs is Superman and Catwoman Giving a little bit of love going on there. So that's September 2nd, number 2. And then number 1 of Hug a Day September is this wonderful one here, which is a lovely, lovely little monster hug. And that is all of the hugs for Hug a Day September. So these pencils, let's take a look, closer look at how the pencils did. They covered very, very nicely in this in this book. This is not coloring book paper. Um, it is very thin, uh, almost newspaper um, paper. And as you can see, it has done quite nicely in full coverage. There's not a lot of white spots showing through, and of course I could blend that out. But it is linen, so I want to keep some of that texture in there. Shannon, I'm 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 embracing the white spot. <laughs> I'm trying to anyway. Um, I have a problem with white spot. It, it 
uh, makes me feel like it's unfinished. So I have I have troubles just leaving it be, and you know I have to go through and try to eliminate it. But there is sometimes, and Shannon has been a huge supporter um, for embracing the white spot. And all I can hear in my head every time I want to cover it up, and it looks good, but I still want to cover it up. All I hear is her voice in my head saying, embrace the white spot. So I have been working on that, and I think it has done quite well in this picture. That white spot has given it a good texture of linen. So the Star Joy colored pencils, I know we didn't use a lot of colors in this, but they did very, very nicely. Um, it's a set that I really enjoy and have enjoyed um, since I bought it. Um, I was enabled to buy this set by um, one of my followers. Like we only used four pencils in, <laughs> in and a gel stick. <laughs> but uh, I was enabled by a, a friend of mine who follows the channel um, for the Starjoy colored pencils. And, uh, you know, they are one of her favorites and the, as I use them, um, more and more, they have always been one of the ones that I really enjoy using. I love the fact that A, they have the color name on them, uh, B, they are really, really smooth. Um, you can definitely layer with them. You can also smush a little bit with them. Um, be careful if you're going to smush, make sure that you have a dull point, like um, this is what I use um, when I want to smush, is I try to keep my points fairly dull. Just if I want to smush, you know, if I want to be really heavy handed, um, I keep things fairly dull. If I'm going to layer, um, I try to sharpen them up so that I can get into those little crevices of the paper. Other than that, um, yeah, they, they have the color name on them, they have the color number on them, and they are in numerical order. Um, so that's really great as well. Like it's 1 through 120, not um, 1 through 520 uh, with only 120 pencils, which is great. I like that. Um, and they're vis very visible, like the numbers and everything else are very, very visible on the pencil. I have had a few that are starting to wear off the color name and the number. And I'm actually going to do a bit of an experiment on a, on a couple of them that aren't completely gone yet, but are starting to go. I'm going to cover it with a um, nail polish, a clear nail polish, um, and see if I can keep that from rubbing off. It just takes patience to make sure that the nail polish is dry and I just don't have that kind of patience right now. <laughs> and that's just 100% me. I, ha I have no patience. It, I'm horrible when it comes to being patient. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> and it, it's just completely me. All right. So I want to say thank you all very much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Of course, remember to um, like, comment, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel, if you want to subscribe. Um, otherwise, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, you know, of course, I will be going uh, live on Saturday and Wednesday. Uh, this coming Wednesday, um, we'll be starting a new work in progress. We've got a couple more uh, to be colors finish to well not to finish but to start and of course we will be doing a wonderful wonderful um, 
color along uh, oh what is it called where a whole bunch of us all color in different ways in celebration of Ashley Color's birthday. So her birthday weekend is on the um, 25th, so it, it will be the 24th, 25th, and 26th. On the 25th is my normal um, Saturday color and chat. And I will not be doing my normal Saturday color and chat. I will be um, coming on on Saturday, but I will be coming on later. So I'll be coming on at noon my time, which is 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, which is about two hours uh, later than I normally come on. Uh, so that uh, everybody can get into the schedule for her celebration birthday. And of course I will be coloring something uh, for her uh, specifically for something that she enjoys in a book I enjoy. So that will cover both her requirements. Well, it'll color cover her requirement of uh, color something you enjoy, color something that you love and that makes you happy and making her happy makes me happy and coloring in this book that I'm going to be coloring in also makes me happy because it's just the cutest book ever. Alright guys other than that I think that's all the updates for the week. Um, of course remember to stay tuned for tomorrow's Tips and Tricks Tuesday. If you have anything that you want to see um, explain, taught, whatever on Tips and Tricks Tuesday, please leave me a message in the comment section below or send me a private message on Facebook or Instagram and I will be sure to look into uh, anything that I don't already know or show you what I already know uh, because you know that's what Tips and Tricks Tuesday is all about is teaching as many tips and tricks that I know about and maybe learning a few from you. Alright guys until next time remember to relax, color and stay safe. Until tomorrow bye bye for now. Maybe. <laughs> Alright guys bye bye.